Hello. Good morning, Moten Scholars. Today, I have a very exciting activity planned for you. Today, you're going to draft your own personal invention. Here's how we do it. So, our objective for today is I can draft a presentation of my invention. Step one, you're going to draw your invention. So here's what my invention looks like. Here I've drawn an inflatable lemonade stand. My invention is going to be a portable and inflatable lemonade stand. How cool is that? So it would look like this being folded and then it will expand or inflate to look like this. A sugar-free lemonade stand. Okay, so after you draw your invention, I first want you to draw it out. Show me what it's going to look like, okay? After you draw your, your invention, then I want you to move to step two. And in step two, we're going to complete this chart. In the first column, we're going to list the materials that are needed. In the second column, we're going to describe how your invention will work to solve problems. Okay, so remember, inventions are things that inventors create to either solve problems or make things easier or convenient. Okay, so here we go. So as I fill in my chart for my portable lemonade stand, the materials that I will need, one, I will need heavy plastic, two, I need an inner tube, three, I would need net for my window. See my window right here in front? Okay, four, air pump, five, a blueprint. A blueprint is a sketched out drawing or design of what my invention will look like. So these are the supplies that I would need for my invention. Now let's go over here and let's, I'll describe for you how my intervention will work to solve problems. So what my portable lemonade stand will do or how it will impact society is my invention will provide people with cold, with a cold health drink during the summertime. Good old sugar-free lemonade. A good healthy drink because it's sugar-free. Okay, so I'm going to provide people with a good cold cup of uh, ice, cold sugar-free lemonade. Good healthy drink. All right. So next I'll go to step three. And step three wants you to draft your presentation for your invention. You're going to draft the presentation so you can present this great intervention to maybe a, maybe a prospective client that you want to maybe get some investment with your invention, okay? All right, so this is what that's going to look like. Your draft is going to look like this. It's going to say new invention. So my new invention is a portable lemonade stand. That's what I'll put there. And then the next line says the problem or need for intervention. What is the need for this lemonade stand? Or what is the problem? So I'm not trying to solve a problem, but I am trying to provide a need, a service, okay? So my answer is to keep people hydrated during the summer months. That is what I want to do. That is the need for my intervention, to keep people hydrated during the hot summer months. And not only to keep them hydrated, but to keep them hydrated in a healthy way, to pro provide them with a product that is healthy by being sugar-free, okay? All right, 
So then you have a question, a follow, uh, following question that will ask you, is your invention practical or is it abstract? Now, I've broken this, the meaning of these two words down, so you will be know you will know how to answer that question. Okay, so practical is something that can be done, something that like you can uh, create a project, something that is doable, something that is hands-on, something that you can make work or or make something you can touch. Or do okay so you have abstract those are things that you cannot touch but you feel them uh, an example of an abstract would be things that are conceptual like truth can you touch truth what about justice can you touch justice no, these are things that are more conceptual or more theory based. Okay, practical, an example of practical is an invention. It's a lemonade stand, building a portable lemonade stand. So in my case, my answer for this question, I would circle practical because that is something that can be done. And it can be also, it can be physical. It can also be a person, but it would if it's something that you're creating, something you can touch, something you can feel, it is practical. So you will circle the word practical. Okay, now the following questions on this activity are very self-explanatory, and I don't think you will have any problems answering those questions. So what I want you to do now, put your thinking cap on, Get in here and get started. Think of some, I want you to first start out brainstorming. Because for me, it was kind of easy to come up with this invention, probably because I love lemonade. And I would love for there to be little portable stands of lemonade, uh, portable stands in the park when I'm walking through the park during the summertime to be able to stop and get a cold glass of lemonade. That would be so awesome, but especially sugar-free lemonade. So that is something I don't see very often, and that is something I think we would be a great demand for a sugar-free portable lemonade stand. How many of those do you see? None. Okay, so you want to make sure that your invent invention is unique, okay? You want to be make sure that your invention has a positive impact on society, or it is a good service that will um, will yield a good service to people in society. And so, just sit a minute, think about it, think of something unique, something that hasn't been done, of course, because an invention is something that you're creating, it's something new. Okay. So we don't want to piggyback on something else, okay? Create your own invention. Just think about things that have never been done that we probably could use or would be very useful or would just simply make people's lives a lot easier. Thank you for joining me and I'll, I'll check in on you later. Have fun.